Jehovah is your name, Lord. Yes, Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name.
Roll 
Bless your name, Lord. You alone are worthy. We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. Hallelujah. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. How are you? It's a blessing to, to, to see everybody. Hallelujah. God is ready for you. Even if you don't answer. You see, Jesus, Jesus. You know, prophets... They don't work with your faith. That's the reason there are some certain things that they don't happen based on the faith of the people in church. They happen based on the faith of the prophet. Of the one God has sent. Hallelujah. Amen. Take your seats. Can they work on the sound? Please, 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 let them Jesus. feel all this. Uh, please, let them feel all these chairs here. Because let them feel, let them sit in order. I want, I don't want to see any space. Can I have that side, that side, come somewhere here. Can you work on the sound, please? Hallelujah. Come on, move, 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 move. Just tell them, but you look nice. Nice. Even though they are jealous of you, just tell them. Come on, tell them, but neighbor, you look nice. I'm waiting for people to fill these chairs. I'm waiting for people to, to come and fill the chairs. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you ready? Yes. So, you know, I want to welcome everybody who is watching us on uh, Facebook. And uh, I wanted to know that uh, it is a discipleship class and uh, something big is about to happen in your life. I receive. Remember that uh, in this uh, service, we are not dealing with prophecy. We are not prophesying, but uh, my main concentration is red signs, quality signs. Not just having many sons, but having quality sons. And uh, you must understand that the Bible, there is no gender. So when I say sons, even you, if you're a woman, you're a son. You are not hearing this. In the Bible, there is no gender. There is no gender. So whenever you hear the Bible talk, talking about sons, He's talking about everyone. Praise God. Praise God. So, I'm going to deal with something tonight that uh, most of the teachings that I teach on Tuesday, I don't teach them on Sunday. And if you have discovered that most of the time I teach much on Tuesday and the Thursday, and on Sunday, I do gymnastics. Because there is no time. There is no time. Really, there is no time. Because people, they come, they are sick. Others are oppressed. So they can't hear the teaching. So I need to 
to, to give them what they desire. Praise God. Just for a few minutes, lift up your hands. 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 Just thank him. 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 Mazuta libra had a lakira satani mahada kir mashata de boshata. Izura had a lakima sotibra had a lakira mandusha de boshata. A mada in the sota, mantusa in a lakira mandula shata in a bad in a kerebo shata. Mazima had a lakaro sotema and a lakira shatibra and a lakara satarebo shata. Mandalika, Rosso Mahav is a Hebra had a lakbeer of Sopana and a lakaro sotibosh. Mandalira, Mandalika Rosotebra and the Kira Zatibra and the Kira Zopali Lira Boshatarabosh. Inala Isuta, Mandala Ira Sopalira, Rosomaha Nalida, Izara Ina Hadozada in the Sopada Eid of Prada Ika Rosopala Kira Pataliz of Prada Boshata. Mandalima, Tosada Ika Razatama and the Kara Zopali Lira Rosotema and the Kira. In Mandalira, Mandazo in the Hazo Prada Ika Rosopani in a Sota. Mandala in the Sopada Ikrosota in the Hadalakara Zatarabosha. Mandalina had a loser had a lacaroma and a zata mando zatina boshatarina. Another in a hosota in a hosatika rosomina and a lacaro sotima and a lacata. Izuma in a had a coma and a zatina zotana katiza. Imana lika razatana boshata ika razata era katoena. Madiza, Madiza, Madiza hot a lacaro zatana boshata lacadiza. E russo in mandala carozo bada la carazata. Imana la curo sotama and a lacaro zatina boshata liba. Lift up your hand. Say, Father. Father. Hey, shout it. Say, Father. Father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Speak to me. Speak to me. Father. Father. Open up my heart. Open up my heart. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Clap hands for Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, are you ready? Can I see your books? Your notebooks, your notebooks, your notebooks. Here, I don't prophesy. Here, I teach. I'm a teacher, a real teacher. Can I see your, your iPads? Those who are having iPads. Yeah, God bless you. That's good. You are updating yourself. Some of you just need to update yourself. Tell about update yourself. Tell about don't be old model. Tell about don't be old model. You know, there are some of you, let me tell you something. There are some of you, it is very hard for you to operate in this time is because you are old model and old fashion. You're old fashioned. Not that God does not want to bless you, but you have refused to update yourself. I spoke last week. Look, I said something that is so cardinal and uh, profound. I said that even the devil, for him to use you, before he uses you, he needs to check whether his investment. It will be returned back to him. The devil does not use everyone. He doesn't. He doesn't. Even before he uses you, he will check whether there will be a return of the investment of the devil. That's the reason I say that uh, there are some people that the devil will refuse to use them. Because they have got nothing to offer. For example, you have failed in life and you say, let me go and join Satanism. The devil will refuse you. He will. He will refuse you.
Do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know why? Huh? You have got nothing to offer in his kingdom. He uses people that have got scopo. Not just, not just somebody who is down. He has a failed. He has a failed everything. That's when he says, you know, I want the devil to use me. The devil will not use you. He will reject you. That's the reason you must understand that uh, empowerment and uh, updating yourself is a personal thing. You just need to look at the environment and update yourself. Inform yourself. Look, if you take the car of uh, 1997, if I give it to you as a blessing, do you know what will come in your mind? Huh? Do you know what will come in your mind? If I take the car of 1992, huh? 1992, I bring to you, I even tell you that God spoke to me to bless you. Do you know what will be coming in your mind? It's like an insult. Because it is already outdated. You're already bringing all the things to me. That's the reason we need to update even our lifestyle. Our lifestyle. Update your look every day. Update. Put foundation. Ah, it's an update. It's an update. Put foundation. Eye rushes. Huh? Put. I'm telling you. Huh? Some of you are too natural. You are too natural. <laughs> I'm telling you, you are, you are too natural. You are too natural. You need to update yourself. Go along with technology. Go along. That's the reason there are most men of God that will fail to operate in the time where we are going. Because they have failed to even update their English. Even their looks. Even their surrounding. Even their leadership is not out, it's not updated. It's outdated. Even your company, your company is a good company, but you have refused to update your company. That's not that customers they don't want to come. But when customers come to your place, it is disaster. You need to update yourself every day. You know, every time, every day of my life, I read something new. Every day. I was telling my sons something. I just sat with them and I was telling them the revelation that God gave me. And I was telling them, I asked a question. What is life to you? Eh? What is life to you? And this question, if you ask any president, those that did not go to school, can't answer it. Even you. So when I was talking to my sons, I began to unfold the revelation that God had put over my life. And they were so amazed. You know, there are sometimes if you, if we take you to America, you will fail to operate. That's the reason some of you, God must just leave you here, even just, just in Cosmos City. He must leave you. Because you go and embarrass him. He, just, he, he must just leave you. Because you are not ready to, 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 to represent him. You don't, you, you don't look like a representative of God. Praise God. Glory be to God. So, tell me update yourself. Come on, tell them about update yourself. Tell them about update yourself. Tell them about every day of your life. You must put yourself on a level. 
so that you can be latest. If you want to be latest, don't do late things. You must do new things. And that's the reason every day of my life, if most people are close to me, every day of my life, I look new. I look new. New revelation. New insight. But you, from 1997, Till 2017, there is no difference. <laughs> Lift up your hands. <laughs> Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, give me the grace. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Can I have a board? I want to write. Hallelujah. So today I'm talking about something that uh, is going to bless your heart. I'm going to deal so much with the, with the prophetic. The prophetic. You want to hear God? Huh? Hey, do you want to hear God? Huh? Since you get shocked every day when I prophesy, when I mention names, this and that, phone numbers, where people are coming from. You know, some people, they have got these questions in their minds. How, 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 how does he do it? Does he see like a TV? Or does he hear a voice uh, talking to him? Oh, maybe he's, he sees God. So I'm going to answer some of the questions that you have in your mind. And uh, if you excite me, if you excite me by your faith and by your response, it will be up to me to open the whole book. Yeah, it'll be up to me. Now, let me tell you, prophet, I'm telling you, there is no prophet who reveals his secret. I'm telling you. Even me, when you come to me, you come to me and say, Papa, how do you hear God? I'll tell you, go and pray for 40 days and 40 nights. And when you go for 40 days and 40 nights, you return, you are thin. You can't even hear anything. Because there are things that I know that you don't know. Praise God. So, I will check your spirit whether this message is conducive for your heart, whether I have matured people that need this message. Because I don't love to minister to wrong people. <laughs> you know, you can be ministering to wrong people. That's the reason before I teach you, before I teach you, I must gauge. I must gauge your spirit. I gauge your spirit. Whether you are ready, if you are not ready, that's the reason I change the topic or I change the teaching. Because I can bring a teaching that is irrelevant to your spirit. Or that does not make sense because it is beyond your knowledge. And whatever is beyond your knowledge is like useless. It's like you try to understand what I'm talking about and you just can't figure my revelation because my revelation is not a physical revelation. It will take, it will take you to grow in the spirit. Praise God. Praise God. Now, let's, let's write. We are dealing with something that I've captioned. What is this? Hey, shout it. Hey, what is this? What is this?
Prophecy is a spoken word of God. It's a spoken word. Okay? It is a what? Is a spoken what? It's a spoken word of God. Now you must understand that we have got two kind of words. Two kinds of words. Okay? We have got number one, logos. Number two, we have got rema. Okay, we have got the logos, we have got the rema, praise God. And uh, the logos is the written, written word. Okay, is it what? Is a written word and uh, the rema, it's a word uh, filled, filled with the spirit of God. Okay? So the rema is, is a word filled with the spirit of God. So it is not just a mere word. It is a word when you speak forth. It has the ability to bring life. But you must understand that we have got two kind of words. Now when I talk about the logos, the logos, I'm talking about the written word. So, for example, what is written in the Bible? What is written in the Bible? The Bible that you are, uh, you are reading, it is not just there to inform you, but uh, it is there to transform you. So, this is called Logos, which is the written word. Okay? It is the written word, and uh, in the Logos, there are revelations, there are revelation, there are insight, there are uh, 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 hidden things of God, that God has hidden in his book and it will take a spiritual man and that's the reason if you read the book of uh, Luke chapter 4 chapter 4 verse uh, 16 to 17 you will hear that uh, the Bible says then the book then the book of the prophet Isaiah was given unto Jesus and the Bible says then he opened up. Then he opened up, which means there are things that is written about you, but because you can't open the book, you can never have access in these things. Praise God. And the Bible said, then Jesus opened up the book, and the Bible said he found where it was written about him. He found where it was written. The word there, written, it means logos, okay? Something that has been well documented. Am I talking to somebody here? Something that has been what? Well documented. So we have got two kind of words. Two kind of words. So for example, I am reading from the Bible. I'm reading from the Bible. And the word that I'm reading, it is called the Logos. Which is the written word. But there is another word. There is another word which is called the Rema. Now, why the rema? The word the rema, it means something that is filled with the spirit of God. Or the word that is backed by the spirit of God. Now, you must understand that uh, in Genesis chapter, chapter 1, let's go there. Let's go to the Logos. In Genesis chapter 1. La Rosha di Gaba. Can you work on the sound, please? Work on the sound. The sound is very bad. Can I have that other microphone? Are you there? Now, Genesis chapter, chapter 1, we're going to read verse 1 to verse 3. On top of our voices. 1, 2, 3, go. Okay, the Bible says in the beginning, 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 there the beginning is omega. In the omega, God, not the beginning of God, eh? Not the beginning of God, but the beginning of creation. 
Okay. So the Bible says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was void, and thick darkness covered the earth, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Not the word, the Spirit of God. Okay? Not the word, the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And verse 3, the Bible says, then God said. Now the word that he said there, the word that he said there, it was not the logos. The word that he said there, it was uh, the rema. And that's the reason when he spoke forth, remember that the earth was void. There was no trees. There was nothing. And when he spoke the rema, the word filled with the spirit of God. In another way, it was not just, it was not just a mere word. When God spoke forth, that word, behind that word, there was God's spirit. Are you listening? Are you listening? Are you listening? So, when God spoke, he did not just speak based on his mind. He spoke the word filled with the what? With the spirit. And the word is spirit here. It is not the spirit with uh, a, a, a small, small letter S. Okay? It is, it is a capital, capital S. Which is talking about a human being. Okay? It's talking about the Holy Spirit. Huh? The Holy Spirit. Now, you must understand that the Holy Spirit, it is not a feeling. Uh-huh. It's not a what? Uh, a, a feeling. Praise God. But he is a personality, okay? Personality, which means he has he has feelings, he has a will, uh, he has the mind, uh, 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 he can he can move, he can talk, and uh, he can bring the mind of God into existence. So when God spoke forth the rema, which is the word filled with the spirit of God, remember that there was no earth; there was the earth was void. And there was thick darkness. And the Bible says, then the Spirit of God, then the Spirit of God took the word, the rema. Then the Spirit of God took the rema and brought those things that were not into existence, in existence. Which means that when we deal with prophecy, you must understand this prophecy. We are dealing with the what? The spoken word of God, but the spoken word of God is in two dimensions or in two levels. Is in what? Two levels. Two levels. Two levels. Two levels. Joshua chapter 1 verse 7 to 8. Joshua chapter 1 verse 7 to 8. Hurry up. I want to take you deep. I want to take you deep. There? Are you there? Are you there? Let's read it together. Let's read it together. One, two, three, go. Hey, your reading is the one that will cause me to teach you. Okay, let's read verse 8 together. Verse 8. 8. 1, 2, 3, go. Okay, 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 okay. This book of the law. Okay, I got the word. This book of the law, which is containing the words, okay? The words that are called what? The logos. Okay? Uh-huh. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein. But thou shalt meditate therein. But you shall meditate therein. 
which means you must have the character of opening the book. Now, the word to meditate, the word to meditate, it means to ponder or to have deep thinking. Okay? Deep thinking on his word. On his word. Deep thinking on or through or in his word. And when you have the deep thinking, that deep thinking, it is the one that we produce. Eh? It will do what? It will produce what? Success. So, we, we don't pray for success. We don't pray for success. We don't pray to be prosperous. But our God has given us a room to sit down and they open up scripture, which means that your success is determined by how many scriptures you know. Your success in life, your success in business, your success in every area is not determined by your connection, it's determined by how much you know. How much you know in the logos, in the written way. In the written way. Now when we talk about prophecy, you must understand that we have got two kinds of words and I want to break it here. Now prophecy, prophecy is a spoken word of God. Is a what? A spoken word of God. It's not just a written word. Okay? Oh, you're not getting this. It's not just a written prophecy. That's the reason we call this Bible as the book of what? Prophecy. So we have the written prophecy and we have the spoken prophecy. We have the written prophecy and we have the spoken prophecy. And that's the reason in the church what we do before we speak to you using the spoken prophecy of God which is the rema, the word filled with the spirit of God we will first go back to the written. What has been written about you? That's the reason we will be able to teach you the word, to teach you principles of the word of God so that we cannot go against the written prophecy. That's the reason any prophet who cannot teach is not a prophet, is a witch doctor. We have a lot of witch doctors in suits. They are stranded now. They are saying, no, 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 it's better. It's better I, I come in an advanced way. Let me just put on a suit now. So any, any prophet, any teacher, any pastor who cannot break the scripture, who cannot break the scripture and teach the logos, the written word, then that man is teaching you his mind. We must look, 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 look. If you are a pastor, you don't have the ability to open the scriptures, then stop teaching. Stop teaching. You are teaching false doctrine. You are a blasphemer. We have a lot of blasphemers that are not opening scriptures. That's the reason we have got mis misunderstanding of doctrine. Too many doctrines that are, are, are making people not even to come to church. Because we have people on the altar that cannot open up scriptures. Then we have got two kind of words. We have the written word. So what I am doing here, what I'm doing here, I'm not just teaching you from my mind. Or from what I feel. But I am teaching you from the logos. What has been written. It is a guiding line so that I cannot go out of context or out of doctrine so that I cannot add or subtract. So if I must remain, if I must remain in line with the, with the word of God, with the logos, then I must open it time and time, time and time, time and time, time and time. So we we have the logos, we have the rema, and when we deal with prophecy, 
we are dealing with two levels. We are dealing with the written and we are dealing with the spoken. We are dealing with the what? With the written and with the what? There's some things that God has written. And there are some things that God will speak. And there are some that he has already spoken. And the more you read the locus, is the more your revelation changes. The way you look at the things begin to change. Because the word of God, that's the reason the Bible says uh, the entrance of God's word. The entrance of God's word. The entrance of God's word. Which means when you are reading the logos, the logos has the ability to open up some certain entrances inside you. Which means you are, you are, you are, you are, you are like a country that has got uh, roads. So for the word of God to enter you, there must be an entrance. And the word of God has got different kind of entrance. Different kind of entrance. So, how can you have this entrance? Then you must go back to what he has spoken. Now, let me break it. Say prophecy. What is prophecy? Huh? Not just a spoken word, but also... The what? The written. Huh? We have got the spoken and the what? The written. Now, four levels of prophecy. Number one, <laughs> we have got spoken. Word number two. Now, the spoken word, which is prophecy, okay? We have got number two. Uh, uh, okay, just do like this. Just let me just, I will explain. We have got prophet, okay? We have got prophet. We have got uh, uh, prophecy. We have got prophesying. Huh? Number four, we have got uh, prophetic perfume. Now, and number five, we have got prophetic. Prophetic character. We have prophet who is the mouth of God. We have a prophet who is the mouth of God. <laughs> That's a reason Ezekiel chapter 37. Ezekiel says, as he commanded me to prophesy, I prophesy. So Ezekiel is a prophet, but he cannot speak to God. Has not told him to do or to speak. So the reason why Ezekiel is speaking is because behind his speaking, there is a command. So before we prophesy, we wait also for a command. There is an overall boss. So you don't just wake up anyhow. It is not just feeling. It is not just a imagination. There must be, must be a catalyst. There must be a force to lead you. So when we deal with prophet, we are dealing with the mouthpiece of God. Somebody that God has chosen. Somebody God that he has gazetted. He has given an authorization to speak on behalf of God or he is a representative of God. Now, you must understand that a prophet he is a personality. A prophet is a person. 
A prophet is a person. A prophet is a person. A prophet is a person. Now let me dwell so much on a prophet. Because I'm about to take you on those uh, uh, five levels. Five levels. Five levels. A prophet is a person. Called by God. And when we look at it very well, a prophet is not just a body, but a prophet is a spirit, a spirit that lives in the body of a person. And that's a reason if you look at me as your father, physically you'll be able to see a lot of mistakes. You will see a lot of mistakes, even those that I don't see, you will see them. As a person, as a body, I am entitled in making a lot of mistakes. A lot of mistakes. Too many mistakes. But a prophet in me does not make mistakes. So you are dealing with two people here. You are dealing with two people. You are dealing with a body. <coughs> with a body. And you are dealing with the spirit. Now the problem with people is that when they see the body of a person, that's the one they say, that is Prophet D.D. Isaac. Not knowing that there is another man that you don't see with your eyes. And that can never, can never, I promise you, it can never be seen by physical eyes. It is impossible. That's the reason I can laugh with you. I can become... Look, look, a, a prophet can laugh with you. A body of a prophet can laugh with you. Yet his spirit is annoyed at you. A prophet can, a prophet, a prophet is a spirit living in the body. His body, his body can laugh with you. Yet his spirit can be against you. So you must understand, you are dealing with two personalities. Whenever you approach a prophet, you must put it in your mind that I am not just dealing with a body. I am dealing with a person. I'm dealing with another man who is highly infl in inflammable. Highly inflammable. Highly sensitive. They may not speak using the mouth of the body. But they can speak using the mouth of the spirit. That's the reason prophets, they don't only speak using the body. They can also speak using signs. Their eyes can communicate to you. So prophets are dangerous beings. That's a reason in the Bible God sees prophets as his firstborn. Firstborn. That's a reason God did not say, Thou shalt not touch my pastors. <laughs> You're not hearing this. He did not say, thou shalt not touch my pastors. And do my pastors no harm. No. It's not written like that. He said, touch not my anointed. And do my prophet. My. So they are not, they are not men of men. They are men of God. Oh. Now your body, your, your body can make a mistake. But the man of God inside the body Amen. can never make a mistake. Amen. That's the reason Miriam, she was very shallow in her thinking. The prophet Moses, 
comes up with a law telling all the children of Israel that are all of you, you must not marry from Ethiopia. And the following day, his body of Mo went to Ethiopia and he took a very beautiful black woman. And the Bible says, Miriam, she began to mama with Aaron. Aaron was a priest. He was a priest. And she began to mama, she began to speak against, against, against Moses. Physically, it was a mistake. There are things that you look at them when I am doing them like this. You say, ah, oh, Papa is embarrassing us. He's, he's just embarrassing us. But spiritually, they are making sense. When, when the wife Hey, Jesus. When the wife of David, Jesus. when she saw that David was dancing before the, 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 the Lord, when the Ark of Covenant came in the city, the Bible says that she mocked him. She mocked him because physically he was dancing. Eh? You know, physically, I can be dancing and spiritually, I am not dancing. Physically, I can be looking at you, but spiritually, my mind is not even there. That's the reason prophets are so dangerous. Prophets in the Bible were allowed to kill and they still more enter heaven. And you are not yet a prophet until you kill someone. You are not hearing this. There, okay. I'm telling you. Most prophets in the Jesus. Bible. Most prophets in the Bible. They, did, they killed. Moses. These people, they were talking bad about him. He said, how many people are going with the Lord? And they lifted up their hands. And Moses said, go that side. Moses said, go that side. And the Bible says he commanded the ground eh, to open up. Eh, it became a mouth. The ground. The ground has a mouth. It opened up the mouth and the Bible says it is swallowed all of them. And the following day, speaking in tongues, shock up. can you deal with such kind of a person? People have died. People have died. He's speaking in tongues. You know, if you look at prophets, the lifestyle of prophets, you will be heartless. Jesus, they came to him. He said, Master, your beloved has died. You know where he went? <laughs> he went somewhere to preach the word of God. Imagine, imagine my church member. They give me, they give me messages. <laughs> a message. Saying that, ah, Papa, your church member has died. I answer, let the dead bury themselves. Imagine, is it not so hard? Huh? Huh? The man wants to see the prophet. The man wants to see the prophet. And the prophet said, there's no need. There's no need even for him to see me. Huh? Just tell him what I did. Just tell him. He, there is no need for him to see me. Just tell him what I have said. It is enough. Prophet. Dangerous beings. You can't understand a prophet with your mind. Things that I do. They don't make sense. I'm telling you. Sometimes when I'm in the service, you think maybe I'm confused. So prophets are very dangerous. Now, prophets are the mouthpiece of God. They can speak on behalf of God, on behalf of God, on behalf of God. Like right now, if God could come physically, he would have told you what I'm telling you now. No difference. That's the reason I wonder, people, they want to see God alive.
Even if when you go for 40 days and 40 nights, 90, 90 days of prayer and fasting, I promise you, I'm a prophet here, you will never see him. You will never see. Even if you cry, you feel the drums. I promise you, you, he will never come. Can he leave the throne only for you? On top of it, you drink beer. And he said, well, God, where are you going? I'm going to see Jabu. Huh? You can never, look, I'm, I'm telling you the truth. That's the reason I want to be so real with you. Sorry with you. You know, there's no, you know, I want to see God. You, the children, when the God came down, did they stand? And you, you want to see God, you, the way I know you, full of fear. You can't even go outside alone when it's dark. This is a message for all my sons and daughters. I'm telling you. You look, look, look. You will never see God coming physically. When God wants to do something, He will raise a prophet. That He has given a mandate empowered before the actual battle. That's the reason. Before I came to you. I knew a lot of things. That any question you can ask me, I will answer. Very empowered. Do you know most prophets in the Bible were not educated? Oh, you're not hearing this. Most prophets in the Bible, you'll never hear where they went to school. Okay, where did Elijah go to school? Where? Yeah. Yet the man, he was an advisor to poli politicians. Haven't you ever seen politicians coming here? Huh? Coming here saying, please, we just want to know the mind of God. You must understand that in this generation, there is a need of God's direction. Amen. And that's a reason, that's a reason most of you, if you, if you don't have a prophet, you have a babarao, a witch doctor, a witch doctor, if you don't have a prophet, you will have a witch doctor. And you'll be taking instruction from the witch doctor. This, the witch doctor will become your spiritual father. Prophets, we are not all that educated. But the guys, they had wisdom. High level of wisdom. You know when I look at you like this, even if you are very educated, you have PhD. When I speak to you, you will drop your PhD. You will drop your PhD. You will drop your PhD and you begin to look at me and be like, who is this man? You saw last Sunday, huh? There was a woman who came. I called her. I said, you, your husband died. Eh? How many people were there? Huh? I said, you, woman, your husband died. This is the name. Huh? And did you see when I just mentioned the name of the husband? Huh? At the first when I was prophesying to her, I was looking like her friend. When I was prophesying, when I was starting my prophetic gymnastics, I was looking just like a common person. But when the prophetic began to manifest... You saw the lady black. The, the, the prophetic comes to humble. Amen. It comes to humble people. That's the reason some of you, I don't speak to you. Because I just, I just decide to keep quiet to maintain peace. You and me. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's better just to become quiet and maintain peace. Ah, hello, hello, hello. I look like I don't know. Ah, hello, hello, hello. 
And it is very funny to see people that are around a prophet to underlet the eye, the sharpness of a prophet. That's a reason. That's a reason. Prophets. I remember one day I called my son. I, I called one of my son. This son was a he was a notorious son. Very notorious. Notorious B.I.G. So one day, look, one day I'm praying. I'm praying. I'm praying. I have a habit of calling my son's name. If they are close to me, I mention their name when I'm praying. I'm praying. So while I was praying, I had a button where God gave me his word. So while I was praying, his face appeared. I saw him in the hotel with a lady on top doing his calling. Doing his calling. And I called him. I said, my son, I wrote to him a message. I said, my son, sex will kill you. Come out from that woman now. My sons are there. What happened to you? Enoch, what happened? I asked. Did he even stay in the hotel? Hey, he. Huh? He, he. He, he found you and uh, he was looking and asked you where you were. And uh, you told him that you are in a hotel and he says no. You tell him the hotel number and what he was wearing is underwear and the underwear was the woman. I told him, I said, this is what is happening. And after he refused at the first, and after he began mentioning pa, 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 he said, pa, pa. And I said, look, this, it is a blessing to have somebody that when something is about to happen, yes, he has the ability to cancel it. Yes. Power. And I told him. I told him. I said, son, this is what you are doing. Stop it now. He didn't even stay. He read from Pretoria. He came and knelt down on my feet. He said, Papa, pray for me for protection. I said, you are protected. You, if it was not me, you would have been in trouble. And the man was, he was ready to harvest. <laughs> Hallelujah. Imagine, okay, imagine, 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 imagine. Okay, 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 okay. Imagine, imagine, you're about to make a mistake. Eh? A mistake. And just from nowhere, I give you a call. My daughter, this is what you're about to do. Stop it. How do you feel? Eh? That's the reason you must begin to appreciate prophets Amen. and also acknowledge and honor their ministry. Amen. How? You, do you know how many things, do you know how many things are supposed to kill you? You. That every night I kill. There's a lady that I was praying for today. I was praying for. I was praying for. She's, she's a, 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 a cleaner. She's a cleaner. She drives a BMW. Where is she? That one who stays in Soweto. Angie, I was praying for her. The Lord put a burden for me to pray for Angie. Angie. I was seated like this and the Lord says, now pray for Angie. Imagine. Imagine if she was not connected to my ministry. So, you look, look. You must understand when you are sitting under a prophet, it is not just a matter of you sitting you must sit under a prophet and connect yourself to the spirit of the prophet. Amen. That's the reason most of you, when you're in trouble, I don't know you. I don't know you. I can't even pick the signal. I can't. I can't pick the signal. 
I will have problems to pick the signal because you are far. There is a distance like that one there. That one there. That one there. This one. This, this lady here. Yeah. I, 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 when I look at her, I'm able to know how many times she sits under me. And how it's so hard for me to pray for her. Even though she can come today with a problem, she said, Papa, I want your God to remove this problem. It will not. It will not go out. Do you know why? Not that my God is not strong, but there is there is no covenant. No covenant. So prophets, they are so dangerous. So dangerous. There are some times when I look at things, I look at things in the spirit. Sometimes I put myself on a place where I'm afraid also to speak. Should I speak? Because some of, especially my sons, some of you, if I speak to you, if I speak to you, like you, you, you will not be free anymore with me. That's the reason I make sure that I bring you close. I bring you close. So prophets are very dangerous. So they are God's mouthpiece. They have the ability to speak forth the word of God. Remember that prophecy is a what? Is the word of God. And the prophets, they are assigned to speak forth the word of God, which is prophecy. Which is what? Prophecy. You know, I can prophesy to you, but if you are a wrong person, it's a waste of resources. That's the reason you see most prophets, before they prophesy, they will create an atmosphere. I will personally ask you, can I prophesy to you? Because I don't want to waste my bullet. Because when I prophesy, it is a, a bullet I'm releasing. It's either it can shoot your enemy or if you are not careful, it can shoot you. That's the reason you find that when a prophet is speaking to you, speaking like this for myself, like when I'm looking at her, when I'm looking at her, there are things, there are messages that I'm receiving. I'm receiving messages from all angles, all angles. It is her to provoke me to give her a word, not me. So it is not, it is not her quietness. She remains quiet. She will go back with the same problem. You don't be, you know, a prophet. Before he gives you a prophecy, he will first look at you. He will first measure you with a hatometer. Yes. That's the reason. I'll, I'll measure. I'll measure your heart. This lady, if I give her a prophecy, can, can she pray? Can she pray? If I give her a prophecy, if I say, okay, you, you are going to be a millionaire, this one, the way she loves money, this one, she will leave church. So the best thing, let's not prophesy. Because the prophecy can bring problem. That's the reason the day when you receive the prophetic, the devil began to look for you. Because he knows. The day you receive the, that, that prophetic word, you began to become sick. Sick. Sickness all over. So, prophecy is God's word, God's word that is pronounced by the prophet. Number three, prophesy. Prophesy is the ability of declaring. So the prophet does not just prophesy or, or gives a prophecy, a word, but also he has the ability to declare. I, you, I can declare to you your sickness to live. Oh, This is what I'm telling you. I, with the ability that God has given me, not just, not just like a common prophet, no. 
But I have the ability to declare by prophesying. Amen. Okay, okay, okay. Then how do I declare? I declare using prophecy. Huh? Amen. So I declare using the word of God. I can declare. Whenever you, you see me, I say, I decree and declare. It's not a joke because most, most of you, 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 you take declarations so easy. You take them like it's your witch doctor. Declaration, these are power of creativity. Amen. Now, let me show you something. Do you know, with my prophetic ability, Amen. like as we are seated here, I can be able to note out your name, where you're coming from, and call you to the front. But for that thing that I have called you for, for it to happen, then I must declare. That's the reason most of you, I just leave you just like that without declaring. So I prophesy to you, if I don't declare, it doesn't happen. <coughs> you, you don't get it. You know, I can prophesy to you. Declaration is a stamp of God. Amen. Now, God is stamping. God is stamping. He said, okay, this thing that you have spoken, you my prophet. Now, I have agreed. I have agreed. These people must be rich. These people must be healed. These people, everything must change. I receive it. So it is declaration. That's the reason a lot of people, they take declaration very, very, especially South African churches. South African churches. They don't know declaration. That's the reason you see most Nigerian people, they flourish more than South Africans. I'm telling you. Most Nigerian, they flourish. Eh? They know. I'm telling you, most Nigerians, when you when you hear a prophet just standing on the altar, a prophet saying, "I decree and de you will hear noise." Not to you. A prophet is coming to a prophet like me. Not just a, a prophet, but a major prophet. I say, I declare and declare. That's when a person is going to speak to the boyfriend who is going to divorce. You're not serious. I declare and declare. That's when you now take your powder. You begin to apply. That's the reason of becoming ugly. How can, how can you apply powder yet the word of God is coming? The word of God will work against you. It will work against you. That's the reason you try foundation. Nothing. Look. The greatest asset of a prophet, it is not himself. It is the words he speaks. That's the reason Jesus in the book of John chapter 5 verse 56, he said the words that I speak. The words. Not the laying of head. What I speak is enough. That's the reason. Look, look. Do you know that true prophetic ministry, true prophetic ministry, do you know prophets were not assigned to pray for people? Prophets are not assigned to pray for people. That's the reason when you come here, you say, Papa, pray for me, I feel like slapping. Because you don't understand scriptures. Prophets are not called to pray for people. Prophets are called to speak. Power. You know, most people, every time they
they approached a prophet, they only said, speak a word. Not to pray for me. Only speak a word. Only speak a word and your servant will be okay. Not pray for me. Not anoint me. Not sit on me. Not lay your legs. Uh -uh. Just speak. I don't, I don't need many words. I only need the one. Only need the one, just one. I don't need many. Prophet, I know you have. The, look, look. Do you know prophets? They have the ability to create a miracle. That's the reason we call them creative miracles. They were not supposed to happen, but because there is a level of persistence. The prophet is allowed to perform a miracle. And let me tell you, God does not perform miracles. God does not perform miracles. God does not perform miracles. He says to others, he gave them the the gift of working out. Eh? Working out miracles. Which means miracles are worked out. So if you don't work out a miracle, there will not be a miracle. So it is not God performing a miracle here. It is now us given the ability of God to do on his behalf. That's a reason. That's a reason. Some of you when I look at you. I look at the whole environment like this. I look at the whole environment. I say, oh God, what are you saying? I go to a sick person who is completely sick. Very sick. Very sick. And I'll just do my leg. Pa! Walk now. And the person will rise up on the wheelchair. I can't walk. I, you see other people. Oh, Jesus. Because we, we, we we have the ability to create environments that can provoke other people to receive. Are you listening? So, <laughs> you know, most of you, you, most of you, you are not even on the line to receive a marriage. I'm telling you. Do you know a Shunammite woman? Look, a Shunammite woman. The Bible says after she did everything for the prophet, Elisha, the Bible says, then Elisha asked her a question. What must I do for you? The Bible says she did not respond. She said everything is okay. This is a question of everyone here. When a prophet approaches you, never, never in your whole entire life, the woman, after saving the prophet, the prophet asked a question. What must I do for you? Blank check, blank check. Ah, if it's me, a prophet asks me that kind of a question. Makia Duzazia. Kazuka Baradiga. I receive. A prophet asked me that kind of a question. Ha! I will begin to offload. <laughs> me. I will offload. I say, hey, prophet, wait, wait, wait. Wait. I'm taking my diary. I need a 20 seater church Amen. with aircon. And on top of the church, I need a swimming pool. Pow! And I need this space. I need this space so that I can pack my private jet. Amen. I don't want to be using cars when I'm coming to church. Amen. Pow! 
You live, the reason why you are poor, let me give you, the reason why you are poor is because you leave the anointing. You just leave it. Ah, you know. In the Bible, the, the woman with an issue of blood, ah, that woman, she finished Jesus. She finished him. He was going for another crusade. Power finished on the way. So Jesus, somewhere, somewhere, he must, he must go for prayer and fasting. Because this woman, she made the sure that she finished everything. The Bible said when she touched him, the Bible said Jesus felt that ah, I have had people touching me. But in this one, mm -mm, this is another touch. And she did not just touch him just like that. She touched him and she collected everything. To the point, to the point that the Bible says power and the virtue left him. You, you are privileged that you have, you have even a man who can hear God. He, he can tell you what is your problem. Not only telling you your problem, because there are prophets that can tell you your problem, and what they are talking, it cannot come to manifestation. And I'm not such kind of a prophet. When I tell you that this will happen to you. Yes. I am not speaking the locos. I am yes. also speaking the rema. Amen. Are you listening? So the reason why you are poor, the reason why you are struggling, you know, Peter, do you know you can die while oh, Jesus is there? You can die in the presence of Jesus. And Jesus is looking at you, he's laughing. In the presence of Jesus, you can die. Do you know? Huh? The same Jesus that you have. Do you know? Do you know there are some, some things that God cannot do? Eh? Eh? You are too shallow. There are things that God doesn't do. And do you know that God can fail? Hey, do you know that God can fail? Do you know God can fail? Eh? And do you know that you can die in the presence of Jesus? Eh? Eh? And do you know that God can fail? Eh? Yes, God fails. You don't know. Where there is no faith, God fails to operate. So God, does he fail? Yes. He fails. Where there is no faith, he fails to operate. So God he fails. So, this man Peter, he saw Jesus walking on the water. And the Bible says he came out. He took two steps. And the Bible says when he saw the wind, the Bible says the doubt entered him. And the Bible says he began to sink in the presence of Jesus. Jesus a very powerful, powerful, powerful man. Peter was sinking. 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 And the distance between Peter and Jesus, it was in the distance of the hand. But yet, Peter was sinking with Jesus. Standing in front of him. That's the reason most of you are, you are suffering. You have Jesus. Suffering with Jesus. You are poor with Jesus. You don't have a car. Yet you get Jesus. You are not married. Not married. Yet you carry Jesus. You are putting on you are putting on sh shoes that are saluting in heaven, yet you have Jesus. Where you sleep. Where you sleep is dangerous, yet you have Jesus. The husband is beating you, yet you have Jesus.
It's because you don't know one thing. Jesus, you know, after Peter was drowning, he said, you of little faith. You of little faith. So your faith cannot carry you to your destination. You have faith. You have faith. But that faith, it is too little. That's the reason you cannot reach to your destination using the little faith. So for you to achieve great things, you need great faith. Are you listening? So, declaring, when a prophet is declaring, is not a joke. You can, look. That's the reason whenever, whenever you see me ministering, I don't love people moving. I don't love people moving. Even the worship team, I can fire. Because at that time, at that time, my spirit is like a laser bread. At any time I can cut. And that's the reason you see most prophets in the Bible, they, they had too much short tempered. They were too short tempered. Too short tempered. Too short tempered. You see, within a twinkling of an eye, I have changed. Because the kind of ministry and the kind of information that they have, it is too much. That's the reason prophets, you find that if people are joking with prophets, a prophet can just speak one word. Only one word. Said you, it will never be well with you. For the two that were laughing at Elisha. They were laughing at him. No, you bold headed man. You bold headed man. And Elisha said, you guys, do you know where I took this? Huh? Elisha got annoyed on the children. Huh? But I thought these are children. So, you know, prophets, they don't, they don't look at age. Once you look down on my anointing, whether you're a child, <laughs> the children began to laugh at him. You bought a dead man. Look, look at your head. Your head like a pumpkin. And the prophet got annoyed. He said, okay, the same head. Eh? The same head. That looks like a pumpkin. It's the same head that God has chosen to use. And do you know how Elisha got the body head? Eh? He was saving a man who carried the fire. He had the ability to call fire with his hand. So by the laying of hand, the hair... <laughs> by the laying of hand, the man carried the fire, the fire anointing. So the more he was doing, receive. Hair was going. <laughs> receive. Hair was going. So Elisha was like, you, do you know the one who... Who laid the hand on me? That's a reason. Most people who are serving close to prophet, you are in trouble. And you must be very sensitive. You know, you might, you might be speaking to me. I'm looking like I'm laughing, yet I'm, I'm, not, I'm annoyed. You, you can't predict me. The only way you can know a prophet a prophet is revealed, not known. The pro a prophet is not known. The prophet is revealed to people. You can't know me. That's the reason people will say in churches, they know, you know me, I know Papa. You don't know me. You don't know me. That's the reason every day I continue to shock you. If you had known me, you would have known even what I would do next. So a prophet is revealed by prayer. The more you pray is the more God reveals a prophet. So whenever you hear a prophet declaring things, take it very serious. Amen. As a reason, Jesus said, the words that I speak, they are spirit. They are spirit. And not only spirit. 
You know, there are things that I see in my ministry. And uh, God has not yet started with me. God has not yet started with me. Amen. God spoke to me that I will establish you in 2018 as a prophet. You have not yet seen among prophets here in South Africa, I'll be the second. Pow! Yes! Right, this. Even the government will come here. Amen. They will come here. Even presidents will come here. How many people were there on Sunday? I had a lot of HIV patients there. You saw them? Some of them, I did not lay hand on them. I just looked at them. I said, you are free. Amen. Eh? I said what? Free. I said, you are what? You are free. You are free. Where you know true prophetic ministry is that things that don't take time, they happen right there. Yes. And when the people went to test, you saw some of them, they were crying this and that. That is a confirmation to show you that the prophet that you are dealing with, it is not just about speaking. It is the ability to bring those things that is speaking to reality. Amen. When I declare to you, it's not a joke. You must look. You don't receive for the sake your friend is receiving. You receive personally. Amen. And that's the reason when I was in Nigeria, oh my God. Nigeria, that's the reason you, 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 you see most Nigerians, they are too, too forceful. They are very forceful. Even their talk. You, you can't even go to a Nigerian church. You believe church. You. The way you are having a heart like Maguinya. Your heart is too small. You can't. You can't stand the pressure. You can't stand the pressure. Because they, they, are, they, are, they are rough. Rough. Because everything there is just rough. I've been there. I've ministered there. That's the thank God that you were born in Africa. Because if it's born in Nigeria, whenever you, one thing about, I, I, I want to give you, I want to give you something here. In my country, Zambia, Zambia is a Christian nation. And uh, some of the things that happened here did not experience them. In Zambia, most people from Zambia, they are calm. Very calm people. Very calm people. If you see that a Zambian a Zambian who is very arrogant. Know that that one is a mixed one. <laughs> is a what? Is a mixed breed. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because, you know, personally, the way I was raised up, okay, I, I want to show you something. The way I was raised up, I was raised up with a big heart. With a big heart. It's just part of me. I don't, I'm, I'm not pretending. I'm, I have a big heart from my younghood. I've had this heart just to help people, to be there for people, to speak good about people. That's just me. Go to Nigeria. Ha! When they are speaking, they Speaking to you no more, who feel like they are shouting at you. <laughs> you will feel like they what? To them is what? 
It's normal because of the what? The environment. Because of the environment. And uh, if you look at Zambians, they are, they, are, they are not all that like they have patience. Patience. Patience a lot. Like me, the reason why I've got different, different kind of understanding of people is because of the level of exposure. That's the reason you see I'm able to meet a Ghanaian, talk to a Ghanaian. I'm able to meet uh, 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 somebody from Botswana, relate with them. But for you to relate with a Nigerian or with a Ghanaian or with somebody from Congo or with somebody from Namibia, it will take God's visitation. Are you telling? I'm talking about the nature of people here. The nature of people. The nature of people. And I, I want to show you the advantage of most Nigerians. And I want to show you why the hand of God is moving so much on Nigeria. You know, Nigeria, there's high level of witchcraft. There is either you're a man of God, a true man of God, or a witch dog. There is nothing like your own between, in between. I'm telling you, it's either you're a man of God or you're a satanist. So there there is high level of witchcraft, yet the hand of God is so much on Nigeria. And that's a reason from, 2000, from 1992, the hand of God was so much on Nigeria. And that's a reason you see God raised a lot of powerful prophets from Nigeria. And the hand of God began to move from Nigeria to the southern part. And automatically, Korania Sukapahade. The hand of God shall I receive. Look at this. Let me show you something. Wow. Let me show you something. This is prophetical. Nigeria is somewhere here. Nigeria. And uh, Zimbabwe, where is it? Huh? Somewhere here. Huh? Huh? Where here? Here? Where? This is Mozambique. Where is Zimbabwe? Huh? Zimbabwe is somewhere here. Where? Here. 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 Okay, 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 okay. Get this. Get this. Get this. Get this. Let's just put it that Zimbabwe is somewhere here. Okay. Now, this is Nigeria. Isn't it? Huh? Imagine we turn this Africa like this. Huh? Upside down. This is a bullet. This is the, it's like a gun. This, this is a gun. This is a gun. Here, there's a trigger. Nigeria is a trigger. It's a trigger of the prophetic. 
Nigeria is a trigger of the prophetic. That's a reason you see mighty prophets coming out from Nigeria. Cut from what? Nigeria. Nigeria. Coming from what? Nigeria. Now, remaining. South Africa is a bullet. Most prophets, most powerful prophets, most powerful prophets, now the hand of God started from Nigeria. Now it has come now on South Africa. The hand of God is upon South Africa. Hey. That's yes. a reason. Any prophet, any prophet who is very influential, he can never do anything without South Africa. Yes. All of them come here in South Africa. Yes. They want to be on TV, South Africa. Yes. Because South Africa... It has been positioned to release bullets. Yes. That's the reason the hand of God is so much on South Africa. Yes. Prophets are coming up. Yes. Powerful prophets. Yes. Major prophets. Yes. They are coming in South Africa. Yes. But years ago, there was nothing like that. Yes. That's the reason you see most prophets, they are coming here in South Africa. Wow. And you must be very proud. Yes. Pow. Because the prince of South Africa is a pastoral minister, not the prophetic. That's the reason now you see mighty prophets coming in South Africa. Because now, now the hand of God is upon South Africa. That's the reason you see most people, they are coming here in South Africa. They're coming here in South Africa. So you are privileged to be a South African. Amen. You are privileged. So it is South Africa now that must shoot. South Africa must release the bullet. So the trigger, Nigeria must put the trigger. South Africa must release it. Are you listening? That's the reason when you see, when you see a lot of people, a lot of men of God, a lot of men of God coming on the land. On this land. It is the hand of God. Because look, the reason why God is bringing powerful men of God here in South Africa. Is not that there is no other place. I was telling somebody. I was telling one of my daughter. I said, do you know what? The Lord spoke to me about South Africa years ago. And I did not know how I will arrive here. Yet he spoke to me. He spoke to me years. I know when these prophets came in South Africa, the move started from Nigeria, coming now down to South Africa. Now the move of God the move of God, the move of God is going to finish here. If you don't know, the move of God. Do you know a guy called John Gillick? Eh? Is among God's generals. He was raised where? In South Africa. John Gillick. John Gillick. John Gillick. Any man of God who is very vibrant, even senior prophet T.B. Joshua, they first came here in South Africa. Even me here. Yes! Even me here. I, I, I wanted to go to Australia. But God, they say, you know, son, you are not meant for the people in Australia. Your, your impact, your impact is here in South Africa. It will move from South Africa to Australia. Amen. Not you starting from Australia, coming to South Africa. You will start from South Africa, Amen. going to Australia. Amen. 
That's the reason prophets, when they are declaring things, take them very serious. Take them what? Tell them about take them very serious. Come on, tell them about take them very serious. Praise God. Now, prophetic fulfillment. Prophetic fulfillment. So when they are declaring something, take it very serious. Prophetic fulfillment. Now, prophetic fulfillment is, 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 is like this. It's, an, it's, it's like a pyramid. God on top. Man here. And then man of God. Okay. So, for what the prophet has said, declared over your life, now you are waiting for the what? For the fulfillment of it. It does not happen because of the prophet. It happens because three must agree. Number one, remember that the man of God has given you a what? A word, eh? He has given you a, what? a prophecy. Huh? Declared to you that you be a what? A multimillionaire declared to you to be healed. Eh? Now, it is not up to the man of God to bring your prophecy to manifestation. So there must be there must be a character built in the one who has received the prophetic word. That's the reason Apostle Paul was saying, Timothy, I charge you before God and man that these prophecies that have gone ahead of you, that you may run the race of faith. So what happens is this when the prophets, when a prophecy has been released, it goes to your destination before you arrive there physically. Before you arrive there, it has already arrived. So it is just there in the spirit. It will take prophetic ingredients or prophetic character to call that which has been declared over you into manifestation. Now, remember Apostle Paul was saying that I charge you before God and the man that you may run the rest of it. So when a prophecy has been released, it is you bring it to manifestation. Not, not, a, not the prophet. That's the reason now you develop characters. You begin now to sow seeds. Whenever you receive a prophecy, the next thing you must do it is to sow seed, a seed and seal your prophetic word. Because if you don't seal it, the devil will come and steal it. That's the reason most of you, the devil has stolen your prophetic words. Because you only received a prophecy and you were just waiting, sleeping like a sack of maize. Every day you could be found at Nando's. And after waiting, 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 and you, you began calling a man of God, he said, yeah, that man of God is a liar. No, it's not the man of God. It is you. You are a big problem. Every time when a, prophet, a prophecy has been released, you must be able to sow seeds. That's the reason Ecclesiastes says, in the morning I will go to the field and they sow seeds. So every time when a prophecy has been released, second thing, take your seed, not money, seed. A seed must have the name. There are different kinds of seeds. We have got mango seeds. We have got purple seeds. We have got uh, 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 apple seeds. Different names. You can even name your seeds. Most of you, you, you money, not seeds. God is not looking for your money. God is looking for a seed. He's looking for a seed, not money. That's the reason you get moved when a, a prophet is talking about money. It's your heart connected. But a seed. When you, the, the Bible says, God never be mocked. Whatever a man soweth, so shall he reap. 
So when you sow purple, you shall reap what? Eh? You sow one, you shall reap what? The same measure. Same measure. So you must now develop prophetic characters. When a prophet says you will get mad, it's like you provoke the devil. The devil come and just put a demonic masquerade over your face. <laughs> That's the reason any man who comes to you, yet the prophet spoke. Eh? The prophet spoke. Yet when the man comes, they look at you like a lion. Because the devil fights prophecy. He understands the power of prophecy. So every time when you receive a prophecy, next thing that must come in your mind, it is to sow seeds. Seal your prophecy. You don't, you don't just receive a prophecy and you go and, and, and the seed. My brother, my sister, you'll be in trouble. Number two, prayer. You must develop a character of prayer. Prayer. Go it to manifestation. The Bible says in the book of Lamentation, chapter 3, verse 37, the Bible says, Who is he that speaketh a thing when the Lord has not commanded him to do so? God is not a liar. Habakkuk chapter 2, the Bible says, Write the vision. Though it may tarry, it shall come to pass. It does not lie. It is for an appointed time. So if, 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 if you pray today, it is not, it's not happening, pray tomorrow. Look, the, 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 the El, 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 prayed how many times? Seven times. Eh? You, how many times did you pray? Only once and you stopped. You only gave once and you are complaining. You only gave once and you are complaining. Elijah prayed seven times. And on the seventh, number seven, that's when he saw a small cloud. So continue pray. You don't see anything. Pray. You have received the prophecy. The prophet has said, this is going to happen to you. You don't see it. Pray. Enter in fasting. That's the reason most of you you are a child of prophecy, but your prophecy it has not. Because you don't have the courage. You don't pray. Number three. Whenever you have received a prophecy, you must find, you must find somebody who must lay a hand on you every day. Not everyone must lay a hand on you. They will collect even what you have. The laying of a hand, it is a seal of heaven. That whatever God has said over your life, it shall come to pass. That's the reason I don't give my head anything. Because my head is my identity. You see, every day when I lay my hand on you, it's not a joke. What I am, is receiving now. So the laying hand, it must be there. You must find somebody who must lay hand on you. Not legs. Not mouth. Because there's a different kind of laying. I know a lot of, a lot of men of God, they are using the story of Elisha. The one that God told Elisha to, to take his mouth close to the child. He said, no, God has spoken to me. I must put my mouth close to you. <laughs> deception. 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 So find a man that you honor. A man that when he speaks, who speaks in your life? Who do you honor? How many men do you honor you? Find a man who can, who can speak, a man who has authority in the spirit. Who can speak to you? 
You know I'm very small. But when I speak to you like this, things change. So, prophetic fulfillment, remember that this man here, this man here now, he must claim it. Sow seeds. Be in church. See tent. Not changing churches like uh, he's a prostitute. If if the fish must not die, it must remain in its source. That's a reason most of you, the moment you leave this church, then also the miracle remains. It remains. It leaves you. That's a reason when Jesus healed the ten, when one came to give thanks, the Bible says the nine. They did not remain. They did not connect themselves to the source. You, you just think when you come here, you, you just want to receive a miracle. No, it doesn't happen like that. It doesn't happen like that. You receive a miracle, you must remain in the source where you took it from. The one who gave it to you is the one who has the ability to sustain it. If there is a problem, go back. When Elisha, when Elisha prophesied about the child, that the woman, she will conceive, and the woman conceived, when the child died, the woman did not go to another prophet. If prophet was in at the mountain, he was praying. The woman had to climb the mountain. And he told the prophet, he said, prophet, you prophesy. You said that I will have a child. And now I have a child and my child has died. Have you come to bring shame on me? And the prophet said, don't worry. Amen. I know I am the mechanic of this miracle. Amen. I am the pioneer of this miracle. Amen. I know when something is wrong with you. Amen. I know which proportion to use. Hey. I receive it. I know what kind of a machine I will use on you. Ha! I know if there's something wrong with your body. If there's something wrong with your baby. He that prophesied. Amen. He has the ability to bring that child yes. to life. The prophet is saying, Oh, shall I receive? The prophet is saying, Woman, wait for me. Amen. Wait for me. I am coming. Amen. I am coming. I know what is needed. No, the actual spare part. Amen. To use on this. And the Bible said, The prophet left everything. Left everything. That is the problem of a lot of people in the church. When you have a problem, you have a lot of mediums. And they give you different revelation. And when you are in deep problem now, that's when you remember, be like, ah, I have a father, you are a prodigal son. Prodigal sons go and come. You must, you must remain to the connection of your miracle. You know, when, when I look at some of you, when I look at some of you, I told one of my daughter, I said, you, God is going to bless you. She was working in, in, in my office. God is going to bless you. I think some of you are there. I said, but God will put you in test with a miracle. Just after three weeks, just after three weeks, she's nowhere. And I said, God will put you to test. Not that the prophet is fighting you, but it is a principle of miracles. Whenever a miracle has happened, for example, for example, for example, when I say now receive money. I receive. Now, how do you know that you have received? Huh? As I was laying a hand, there was a transfer of currency. I receive. That entered you even when you did not know. I receive it. And when you go at your workplace, when you see customers coming every time, I coming every time, receive it. that's when you know the power of impartation. I receive it. Power. Now, when this 
woman begins to experience miracles. I receive. If she's not wise, she will go back to the way she was. That's the reason most of you, you see, today you go, tomorrow you don't have a miracle. The other day you have money, the other day you don't have money. The other day you have a car, the other day you don't have a car. It's because you are not staying connected to your source. There is no anointing to sustain you. You are into deep problems. So you need to pray. You will need to fast. You will need also to honor the anointing. Amen. Prophetic fulfillment. So this is a personal thing. So once God sees your character, how you pray, how you fast, how you sow seeds, there will be an agreement. Remember, it's an agreement. Now God, your father, will drop a miracle. And when he drops, remember, the one who gave you a prophecy is who? The man of God. He took the prophecy from where? From God. So God gives the, prof, the prophet a prophecy about you. He gives you the prophecy and you begin to call the prophecy to manifestation. God gives you, you go back again to the prophet to go and give a testimony. It's an insult. It's an insult. It's an insult. I heal you. I heal you from HIV. You go and testify to Baba Rao. I'll call, it, I'll, I'll call the HIV to attack you again. It's an insult. It's the greatest insult. It's a pain of the prophet. For him to pray for people and become rich and go to testify to another place. I will enter in the night and say, Kudadia Dizaza, Kushala Gazo, Soko. You take your car, tree, engine not to work. <laughs> you checked everything, the oil is okay. <laughs> you made a mistake. It's an insult. It's an insult. I, I, look, I prayed for one of my daughters, she was very poor. I prayed for her. I said, you, the Lord is going to bless you. I see a lot of millions. She had a contract. And after she had a contract, she went to another man of God. Live on TV. Live on TV. Hey, praise the Lord. Hey, praise the Lord. You know, uh, my God, you prayed for me. I said, what? I touched her on the TV. I said, this miracle, it will not last. You have insulted the anointing. I was being down. I prayed for you. I spent time. I was with you all the time praying for you. In, in fact, I even prophesied what will happen. And you take, you take, now it has happened. In order for you to come to the God of that man of God and testify, you went to another man of God. Uh, let that man of God now. Let's see. Let's see. This is a holy war now. Yes. How can you testify to another man? Yet you when you when you came here, your shoes were saluting heaven. And I spent time praying for you, taking you even to the mountain day and night. Now you have a baby. And testify. Here, Jaligazuka. That's an insult of the it's an insult of the anointing. That's the reason. All my sons, all my sons, when a miracle happens, I see you testifying to another man. I will come for you. I'll come for you. I'll come for you. I will not collect physically, I will collect spiritual. Collect all my belongings. <laughs> Power. Look, 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 look. This is a problem with a lot of with a lot of ministries and with a lot of children in the church. And this is a sign of immaturity. It's a sign of immaturity. There is no every time. 
you are going to testify to a man who even doesn't know you. He doesn't know even your phone number. He doesn't even care about you. Even when a problem happens, he will run away. He will. Yet, yet when there was a problem, even me, I called you. And now you're a big man. You, you can't testify. Then we'll collect. So, when a miracle happens, when a miracle happens, you must testify where you took it from. Okay. Where you took it from. Otherwise, if you don't testify, the prophet cannot be annoyed, but the prophetic in him. Me, I can decide not to be annoyed. But the prophet, every time when I sit down, ah, I said, this one is an insult. It's an insult. I prayed for a certain, for a certain man. I gave him a promise here. I said, you, this is what will happen. You are going to win a contract. And after he won the contract, he went somewhere. I said, Shokus I said, it is an insult for a prophet of my caliber. And the man, after he went for the contract, after he did a testimony, he did a testimony. The following week, when he was about to start the work, they said, no, you must not start the contract. We are putting you on hold. We are putting you on hold. He came here to me. Papa, no, pray for me. I said, for where? Who is your Papa. I said, who is your papa? Where? Do I look like your papa? Me? Ah, no, papa. And when he came, when he came, he did not know. I was telling him. I was telling him. He did not know that I have data. He was even crying. Papa. I say, shut up, crocodile tears. I said, you. I told him that. I spoke to him. I said, son, I don't love, I don't love your character. I don't just love your character. This character is prohibited. And you can't save a father like this. The best thing that I can, I, I can do, I can write a transfer letter. To that man of God. And I will tell him that I have failed God and I have failed my son. Please take him over for me. I told him, we don't work like this. In the prophetic, we don't work like this. If you continue this kind of character, you will suffer and you will never settle in ministry. You can't take a father for granted. You can't. No, Papa, you know, it was the work of the devil. I said, which devil? Did you see? Can you call the devil here? What color is the devil? I want to see him. So it is a character. It is a, after receiving a miracle. After receiving a miracle. You must get back. Look. Getting back on the altar where you got the miracle. It is what seals your miracle. And rebukes the devil. You don't know. That's the reason. Most people that don't. I, I, I can tell you, 95% of people that don't testify when they receive a miracle, I'm telling you, they, they lose the miracle. They lose it. I'm telling you. You get a job, you get a job, you don't testify, it will stay for two weeks. You're employed for two weeks. The other week, they fire you. You come, ah, you, but you, we prophesied. What happened? I know, Papa, Papa. Testimony. The Bible said they overcame him, the devil. By the words of their testimony. So every time you receive a prophetic word, you must, you must have a character to pray, to fast, and also to come back to the man of God. Don't just come back empty-handed. This is a problem in the church. You come belu, 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 belu. Even to the witch doctor, you don't go empty handed. One of my son, one of my son, he, uh, uh, he was praying for somebody. This man, 
When he went to the witch doctor, the witch doctor thought to bring 70,000 which is about uh, uh, in, in rents is how much? 78,000 kwacha. In rents is how much? 100, 150. 150. 150. Huh? Is it? 110. In rents. Eh? The witch doctor when he told him to bring 110,000 rents. This man he took everything and took it to the witch doctor who is not even powerful, very ugly, a black man. Why is it a problem when I tell my son, I say, for you to receive a miracle, do this. And you, you definitely see, see somebody, you even see the heart. Ah, no, no, no. It's, it's, it's stealing. It's stealing. To the witch doctor, it was not stealing. To a prophet, because he is a man of God, he's stealing. My son, my son gave him an instruction. He gave an instruction to this man. And the man said, no, I'm, uh, I'm, the, man, the man said, I'm, I'm not going to pray. My son refused. I'm, I'm not going to pray for you. Go to the witch doctor. Spirit of father. Go to your spirit of father. The, the witch doctor, the man is in problem. So people value witch doctors that men of God. If a witch doctor can come here and do all his judgment, you will see even people jump and say, oh, It is believed, it is believed that men of God must be poor. When they give you an instruction, you, you can't take it. I told somebody, told somebody, one of my son, I said, son, look, even prophets in the Bible, for your, even the priest, for your sins to be forgiven, they had, they had a book of sacrifice. They will first ask you, what kind of a sin have you done? You explain. And after you explain, they will tell you that, mm, this sin is too big. <laughs> they will go back to the book. And they will, they will tell you that, okay, this sin that you have done, we need a book. could not complain. They just brought it. Whenever you see a testimony, you, you, you have received a testimony, never come to a prophet empty-handed. Because the Bible says, thou shall not see God's servant empty-handed. It's not scripture. It is demonic. A gift, look, the Bible says a gift of a man, not a prayer of a person. This is a problem with all my sons and daughters. When they ever see a man of authority, even, even ten rand, can they open up doors for you. Look, the Bible says a gift of a man, of a person. The gift, the gift has the ability to open up doors for you. You know, let me show you something. Physically, when you take, when you buy maybe a jacket for your physical father, biological father, and you bless him, do you know what happens in his heart? Eh? Do you know what happens in his heart? Even though he has a lot of jackets better than what you have bought, because it is coming from his own son. It is a bride. It is a bride. You will see him blessing you. Even words that you have never even seen before. What more a man of authority? What more a man of authority? And let me tell you something. Do you know that I can stand 
in the shoes of a biological parent. If you don't know. Prophets, they have the ability to stand. That's the reason if some of you, you lost, you lost your biological parent, you lost your father, you lost your mother, your spirit father can stand for you, even to officiate your marriage. Amen. And eat lobola. Pow. You want your dead father to come and eat lobola? Eh? You want your dead father to eat lobola? That's the reason prophets are dangerous. That's the reason whenever you are seeing a prophet, whenever you are seeing a prophet, <laughs> you must be so prophetic. You know, there are men of God that I meet every day of my life. I'm very influential, very influential, very influential. And every time when I meet a man who has authority more than me, because it's all about authority. Whenever I meet a man who has authority more than me, the first thing I will do it is to throw my ranks. And I will take a gift. Give it to him. And I will not look like I know. I will try, I will try to entice him with my gift. Because the Bible says a gift of a man. So the gift can entice a prophet to bless you. Not that he wanted to bless you, but because the gift has provoked him. There are men of God that I meet. Strong ones. Strong ones. And I was down with them. I just gave them a gift. And I'm just waiting. Well, in my heart, I have prayed. I said, this man must speak a word. And I humble myself. Very. I'll be there. He'll call me. I've gone with him several times. I humble myself. Kneeling down. Yet I'm very influential. I'm very influential. I go there. I kneel down. Because, you see, if you must go up, you must first come down. Amen. But you, you go up, you don't come down. I, I, I reduce myself. They pray for me, they pray for me, and after they pray for me, things they open up for my life. Praise God. Approach a prophet empty handed. The, the last thing prophetic character. Lift up your hand, shout prophetic character. Prophetic character. Say prophetic character. Prophetic character. Tell me, but I am a prophetic child. Tell me, I am a prophetic child. I am a prophetic child. You can't predict me. You can't predict me. I am prophetic. Do you know a prophetic character? Huh? Prophetic people. They create an environment for the prophetic. For example, when I'm declaring, when I'm declaring, I'm declaring things, declaring cars, declaring money, declaring debt cancellation, declaring uh, healing. So I'm releasing things in the spirit. But to the one that has captured it, it will take a prophetic character to connect to the one who is declaring. And that's a reason whenever you see me, I'm declaring, what makes you to take your seed? And they come and they throw it because you have been blessed. It is the prophetic character. Because if you don't, that's the reason you see most people, you see others are sowing and the others are still holding on to their two rand. Because they are lacking the prophetic character. Thinking that the two rand will make them to prosper. But those that have the prophetic character, every time when the word has been released for them, and they know that this is my word. The prophet is talking about me. I am having debts. And the prophet has just declared about debt cancellation. The moment he finishes declaring, 
it takes now a prophetic character to connect to the prophetic word so that the how yes are you listening yes well, I can declare a lot of things here but a few receive I'm telling you I declare a lot of things but I can personally perceive that a few receive because they lack this prophetic character prophetic character you must develop it whenever you see a prophet a prophet just standing on the altar like this a prophet standing on the altar the second thing that comes in your mind you begin to solve even when he has not spoken even when he has not spoken you begin to soar because you know that I am ready now. I am ready to receive. So you don't just wait for the prophet to speak. Before he speaks, your offering is the one that provokes. Before the witch doctor must prophesy to you, there must be something to provoke him. That's the reason people who go to the witch doctor, they are more prophetic than people who are in church. Because they know how to provoke the anointing of the witch doctor. Yet he's not even anointed. But when a, an anointed man of God comes on the altar, they will allow the man of God to speak without an offering to provoke the man of God. So it takes a prophetic character to provoke a prophet. Before he speaks forth, you begin to connect. I connect to my house. I connect to my money. Amen. I connect to my children. Amen. I connect to my baby. Amen. I connect to my mega church. Amen. I connect to my trillions. Amen. I connect to everyone that must help me. Amen. It takes a prophetic character. Amen. I decree and declare. I receive it. I decree and declare. I receive it. The Lord shall lift you up. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. I receive it. The Lord shall lift up your mind. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. I receive it. You shall not struggle in business. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. I receive it. You know, prophetic character. Most people, they lack, they lack it. And that's the reason. We have a lot of poor people in the church. Because of lack of hope. They love to hoard. You hoard your money. You are not yet grown up when you come in church. When you come in church and if you can't give your offering, you live with your money. Whenever you come in church with money, money must end in church. If you don't know. That's the reason most of you, God cannot sustain you. You, you can't experience some certain levels of finances. Because you are, you, you, you are not prophetic. You're not prophetic. You still hold the 10 rand. You still hold the 50 rand. You still hold the 100 rand. Even to give a 1,000 as your seed connected to the anointing. It is too hard for you. That's the reason you can't receive. Look, a prophet is declaring. He's looking at you. He's saying, you, you shall receive. The thing that must come in your mind. He said, this is my prophetic word. Amen. The prophet is talking about me. Amen. He's talking about my family. Amen. He's talking about my career. Amen. He's talking about what I am going through. Amen. What is the next thing? I connect myself. And as you are connecting to the to the altar with your offering, the moment you finish, you begin to claim. Amen. I claim, I claim, Amen. I claim. Amen. This is my weight. Amen. This is my weight. Amen. This is my weight. Amen. I claim it. Amen. I claim my money. Amen. I claim my deliverance. Amen. This is the way prophetic people live. Amen. Prophetic people, they don't wait for a prophet to speak. Amen. Prophetic people, they only they are prompted by God. Amen. That's the reason we have got a lot of people for God, yet God is in the place. It will take, it will take a catalyst Amen. to speed up the reaction of God. Amen. Prophetic people. Prophetic people. We are prophetic people. We are a prophetic generation. Yes. 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 Say I am a prophetic child. I am a prophetic child. Say I am a prophetic child. I am a prophetic Say, child. Say my business is prophetic. My business is prophetic. In the name of Jesus. 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 Prophetic people. 
prophetic pastors prophetic pastors you, whenever your father reaches on the altar whenever your father reaches on the altar he begins to declare things God bless you God bless you God bless you whenever he begins to declare things it will take you to be prophetic there are miracles that you miss when I'm declaring there are some certain things that happen because you are too prophetic that's the reason you see if I have prophetic people you see when I'm talking to this man and this man is not answering is not answering if we have prophetic people in you will see noise you will see noise like papa no no, no leave, remove that one prophesy to me I have a problem the person is so prophetic he knows that if the prophet if the prophet is prophesying to this person and this person is not receiving let me remove him let the prophet prophesy to me Amen. I know how to receive prophetic Amen. words I know how to behave Amen. I can't behave like that person Amen. prophetic people prophetic pastors I can do many prophetic people prophetic people, prophetic pastor, prophetic worshippers. That's the reason. They wait for the prophet to speak to them. No, this is a song to sing. You are not prophetic. Prophetic people, they don't wait for the pastor to speak to them. They, they are able to download. They are able to investigate. They are able to discern what kind of a song the prophet needs at that time. That's the reason. You see, if the press team is not too prophetic, the prophet is talking about the blood of Jesus, then they are singing they, they, they are singing about the mountain. Press team must be prophetic. Pastors must be prophetic. Amen. Protocol must be prophetic, not Amen. physical. They must be prophetic. Amen. They must be able to download Amen. the spirit of the prophet. Amen. I remember one day, I came to a person. I came to a person. I just looked at him. I just looked at him. I just said, your life will change. And the, and the person... The person just became quiet and I just did like this. I went. That's what I did. Took it and I put my pocket. He was not prophetic. The prophet cannot just come to you without being commanded. Amen. Are you listening? Yes. There is a command here. The Lord has commanded the prophet to speak to you. But because you are not prophetic, you can't receive. Receive a prophetic character. I receive it. Receive a prophetic character. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. I receive it. Receive a prophetic character. I receive it. You, you know, how do you know when a prophet is declaring? Prophetic characters, you see them by how people react when you are on the altar. That's a, there are some of you, when I personally look at you, I personally know that if you, I give you a prophecy, it will be a waste of time. It will be a waste of time. So the best thing, just stay, listen to the word of God, go home. Prophetic people. Prophetic people, when a prophet is declaring, see their hands. You will see, you will see that they are so serious. So serious. So, so, so. Uh, yes. Receive the prophetic character. Receive it. Receive the prophetic character. I receive it. You know. Do you know now the way I'm looking at you now? Physically, you are thinking like looking at you, isn't it? Huh? Eh? But I'm not looking at you. I'm not looking at you. There is another thing. You know, sit down. There is another thing. Prophetic people, they don't move when a prophet is declaring. They don't move. They don't move. Amen. That's the reason you protocol. Whenever you see a ministry, somebody is moving on my altar. Can you, you, you use your physical deliverance? Lift them up. Deliver them physically. You can't play on the altar 
even on the throne of God, you can't play. You can't. You can't. But people play on the altar. They play on the altar because they are not prophetic. Move around. In Nigeria, in Nigeria, the way you live, you leave the chair, you leave the chair, you go and buy, you will find another person. And before you enter church, they will, they will search you. Search you. Prophetic people. So, you may look at me like I'm looking at you, but they the thing. That's the reason Peter, uh, Jesus said, Peter, I have interceded for you. The devil wanted to put you with his demonic wind. But before that, Jesus said, you Satan, get behind me. Jesus was not looking at the physical Peter. He was looking at another man behind Peter. That was causing Peter to say what he was saying. So there are some of you, when I look at you, you think I'm looking at you. No, I'm not looking at you. There is another thing. Connect yourself to the eye of the prophet. Amen. Receive. I receive it. Lift up your hands. Say, Father, Father give, me a prophetic character. give me a prophetic character. In the name of Jesus. 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 I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Starting from today. Starting from today. I shall be prophetic. I shall be prophetic. In the name of Jesus. 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 I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Every spirit. Every spirit. That kills my sensitivity. That kills my sensitivity. I rebuke you. 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 In the name of Jesus. 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 I decree and declare. I decree and declare. My five senses. They are resurrecting. They are resurrecting. In the name of Jesus. 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 Amen. Amen. Lift up your hands. <sighs> your lady. The Lord says, your left eye is healed. The Lord says, I saw an angel repairing your left eye. See, what happened with your left eye? I received Papa. It's, it's repaired. Eh? It's repaired. What, what, were, what, what were you having? I had uh, meningitis. Pow! You were supposed to be blind. Yes, Papa. I couldn't even see. Eh? I couldn't even see. You could not even see. You were supposed to be blind. And I saw the angel removing the black garment. I receive, Papa. I receive, Papa. I receive, Papa. You are too young to die. Turn around three times. Turn around. Jesus! Come in. Come in. Come here. Come in. Go and sow your seed. You see? Do you see? You see, I mentioned what was her problem. I mentioned what was her problem. Do you see how prophetic people? That, that, that's, look, the devil wanted to kill you. But, because you are too prophetic, you will not die. You will get married. You will prosper. Meningitis is out of you. In the name of Jesus. No more headache anymore. The Lord says you are healed. You are delivered. Your life has turned around. In Jesus' name. If you are a prophetic person, what do you do? Thank you, Jesus. When I'm declaring to this person, I'm declaring to you. I receive it. I wanted to tell you that I got a job. Huh? I got a job in Emirates. You, you got a job? When I was in hospital, yes. Huh? Yes, Papa. When you were in the hospital, yes, Papa. you get a job yes, in the Emirates. Pow! Double blessing. 
I've been praying for you, eh? Yes, Papa. Sit down. I've been praying for her. This job is going to be awesome. Thank you, Papa. I receive. But I see you staying in Dubai. Yes, it is in Dubai, Papa. Professor! The sharp shooter. You. Yes, Papa. Remaining 21 days. Yes, Papa. You will no longer be here. Yes, Papa. It's it's in the 15th of May. Power! <laughs> receive. I receive. Receive. I receive. You in red. Turn around. Jesus. Take. Jesus name. Take. 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 See. Take. I receive. Take. I receive. You. The Lord has remembered you. 21 days from now. You'll be in Dubai. I receive, Papa. Papa, I also wanted to thank this church. This is a family. They came and they looked after me. They prayed for me. And I wanted to say thank you very much, everyone. This is the first time I feel like I have got a home. Pow! I am your dad. Yes, thank you, Father. I am your dad. Thank you, Papa. Just I remember receive, that. Papa. Yes, Papa. Even when you go to Dubai, Yes, Papa. Know that I'm behind you. Thank you, Papa. I receive, okay? Papa. Yes, Papa. Go. It is done. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord has remembered you. The Lord is going to do something amazing. The Lord says dryness, it is over. Huh? Can you give her the microphone? You do what? You, I saw you in my dream and I told Nicola that I don't know how to do it. I saw you, I saw my mother following day. We went down to the office downstairs and then you said I must give. You came with an old lady. You said I must, that old lady, you didn't talk. And then that old lady said I must give. I, I had 40 red in my wallet, but I didn't know how these women know that I have 40 red. She said to me, give me 20 red. Don't expect any word from the prophet. I have already spoken. I gave this old woman 20 red. And then the following day, it was dry, Papa, but I received 1.5 in my account, which I don't know where it is. Which even today, I don't know, it was written interest, interest repayment. Okay. You received how much? 1.5 million. One, no, 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 just cents because I cents. didn't even have petrol to go to work. Yet. And the following day, I dreamt of Mama saying that I, I, she was kneeling down and then she said, Kneel with me, everything is well. Now, can I show you? Yes. The Lord says. Yes. Your financial dryness. Thank you, it Father. Is over. I receive. Mama. I had a vision. I receive. I had a vision. Yes. And this vision, <laughs> the Lord says, I must correct something. Yes. Mama. That is making the devil to steal your finances. Yes. There's always a demon that steals your finances. Yes. And that's the reason you find that every time you are in financial dryness. Yes. It was years ago. Yes. Where I saw a church. Yes. Like a traditional church. Yes. And where you are like a prophetess or what? But yes. I see a robe. Yes. Like a robe. Yes. It's like a traditional church. Yes. Huh? It's true, Papa. I was attending. Shembe the... like a shembe. Yes, Papa. Professor. Prophetic sharp shooter. Yes. Shembe. Yes, that's true, Papa. There was a calling that they said I have. And then I kept on dreaming of this church. And then up until one day, my, uh, my other friend took me there. But every time, I, w I, couldn't, I couldn't sit long. I don't know what was happening. But up until I decided to stay at home because I didn't understand their principles. 
That's where your problem started from. Yes, Papa. That's where your problem started from. From yes. that moment, it was in 2011. Yes, yes, it's true. I was still, actually, it was longer than that because I was still at uh, tertiary when I started visiting there. And then I, I would visit and then stop and then visit and then stop. That's where your problem started from. Yes, please deliver me, Papa. Okay. You, you, see, you see what I'm saying now? Huh? She doesn't know where the problem is coming from. Yes. Huh? Yes. So you see, I'm now using my prophetic, huh? My prophetic to enter her life, to investigate what happened, why she has got no money, why she's not married, why things are like this. Yes. And the Lord says, the problem is because of this and that. Yes. Now the Lord says you are delivered via my prophetic word. I receive, Papa. I receive. You. Even you. I receive. Even you. I receive. The Lord. Yes, Papa. In seven days. Yes, Papa. I receive. You. I just told you how to receive a declaration. I receive. Papa. I was just declaring right now. I receive. In seven days from now. I receive. Your life will turn around. I receive. In the name of Jesus, even you in three days, I receive your life would change. I receive in the name of Jesus. I receive it is done. Power. Very simple. Very simple. Who is that, ma Mama? There. This one. This one. Ah. I was teaching the prophetic, they don't understand. Receive. Lift up your hands, say, Father, in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Make me a prophetic child. Make me a prophetic child. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. She's becoming prophetic. You have seen it? She's becoming prophetic. Huh? Huh? Hey, she's the next. Hey, hey. Power. Pow. Sit down. You. You don't a bank. An insurance. Which one do you know? Papa I used to work in the bank, but I left the bank. You left the bank. When did you leave the bank? Papa, I was earning little money. That's why I left. What happened? Um, I was an express agent, Papa. I was selling houses. And um, when the recession hit, I couldn't uh, make commission. That's why I left. Okay. So what are you doing for now? Uh, Papa I was unemployed for five months, and I started work at Avon um, last week. Under area I, am in, uh, I am in Soweto. Yes, Papa, it's true, Papa. I come from Soweto. Wow. Come from Soweto. You are in Soweto. Yes, Papa, I was raised and born in Soweto. That's where your problem is. Deliver me, Papa. Help me, Papa. You know you. You're a very bright child. Yes, Papa. That's true. Very bright. Thank you, But Papa. you work for people. And people use you. Yes, Papa. That's true. Because this issue of heaven is like the issue of commission. Yes, Papa. That's why and I left as well. Commission. Yes, Papa. Is it a product? Yes, Papa. It's cosmetics. Cosmetics. Yes, Papa. Now, the Lord is going to bless you. I receive. I receive. The Lord will increase you. I receive. Are you working for heaven? Yes, I am, Papa, but I also got a call to, to say that I've been shortlisted for a regional sales manager at Revlon. Where is it? 
Um, it's in Nisando. Focus with uh, Evon. Okay, Papa. I see between 20,000. 20,000. Yes, Papa. Huh? 20,000 because it's like you get payment on commission. Yes, Papa. According to the customers that you bring. Yes, Papa. That's huh? true. Yes, Papa. That's true. But I see you. I see. I see 60,000. I receive. I receive. Okay. I receive. You started recently and uh, 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 it's not working for you. Yes, Papa. Because this is this business is to do with relationships, such kind of relationship with people. Yes, Papa. With people going out. Yes, Papa. Okay. Yes, Papa. But God will cause your face. I receive. To shine. I receive. Brighter. I receive. I see you becoming a manager. I receive. I receive. I receive. Okay. I receive, Papa. You are not yet a manager. But you shall be a manager. I receive, I receive, Papa. Okay. I receive. So, don't forget, it will happen in 21 days. I receive, I receive, I receive. Even you. I receive. In Jesus' name. I receive. You lady, stand up. In, uh, your days of weeping are over. I receive, I receive, hey. I receive, I receive, thank you Jesus, I receive, I receive in Jesus' name. Even the poor said, you people who bewitched you, that you must not receive, receive. I receive. The days of weeping, they are over. I receive. I see a construction company. Yes, Papa. I, I, I registered a company, it's in construction. In construction. Yes, Papa. But you. Wait. When I'm looking at you, you are married. Yes, Papa. Eh? Yes, Papa. You're married. Yes, Papa. You're married. Yes, Papa. You're married. Yes. Papa. Yeah, to a very handsome guy. Yes, Papa. Now, the problem that you are having is that you and your your husband you are in two debts. Yes, Papa. You are in a big financial problem. Yes, Papa. Huh? Yes, Papa. A bigger one. Where are your documents? Your documents? I don't have them here, Papa. Huh? You don't have them? I don't have them here, Papa. Now, I only speak one word. I receive, Papa. I receive it, Papa. I receive it. I receive it. The same way you honor my anointing, God will honor you. I receive, Papa, I receive, I receive. God will honor you. I receive. God will take you on top. I receive. I receive. It is done. Amen, I receive. Put out your hands for Jesus. Rise up on your feet. Rise up, rise up, rise up, rise up. Lift up your hands. Let's pray. Let's pray, say, Father, in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare, starting from today, starting from today, I will never be the same again. I will never be the same again. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All those that are watching us on uh, Facebook, I want to invite you this Sunday for our miracle service. God is going to do something amazing. God is going to touch you. Come with your colleagues. It's going to be a healing service. It's going to be a healing service. So I am praying for you that you shall be my guest. This coming Sunday, God is going to touch you. I'm ready to see you one on one. May the Lord bless you. Shalom, shalom. Put up your hands for Jesus. <laughs> Lift up your hands. Say, Father, I am protected. I am protected. In Jesus' name. 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 Amen. Amen. Put a